Welcome back. Now that the installation process is over, like I mentioned before, you go to the start button, go to your programs, at this point you scroll down to find passport and double click on the icon. Either double click with your finger or with the stylus. The application will launch. To make the process simpler for you, what we decided to do is to create two usernames and passwords. So if you have a numeric keyboard, your username is going to be 1111, four ones. And if you have an alpha keyboard, your login name is going to be lowercase a, 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 a. So four A's and four ones, depending on what kind of keyboard you have on your uh, Motorola Windows 5 or 6 scanner. Once you put in the username and password with your finger or with the stylus, you just simply tap on the login button. Once logged in, now you have access to our uh, asset tracking application, our inventory tracking application. You can see what version of the application you have. And when you're done demoing the product, you can always tap on the exit button and leave. This sync button is designed to synchronize over the 3G, the AT&T uh, cell phone network, or if you have Wi-Fi network. We disabled this button because we just want to keep everything very very simple. Now to simulate the receiving process you tap on the receive button for uh, fixed assets you tap on the receive button and since we do not have any barcodes right now to scan or if you're in front of your customers the best thing to do is just to go down to the location field and with your finger tap on the location field name that's going to bring you into a search in the search, leave it blank and hit on search. It's going to give you a list of all your locations. Just pick any location you want. Hit select. It's going to bring the barcode number and a description. Scroll down to custodian. Once again, just tap on the word custodian. Um, hit search. Find a, uh, a name, any name you want off the list. Hit select and return. And then now scroll down to uh, model code. The reason why we are showing you the user-defined fields is so you can tell your customers that they can rename these fields and activate them for their users. These fields are usually hidden from the day-to-day -day users, but because this is a demo unit, we want to show that we do have available data collection fields in this application for the end user to customize and activate for the users. At this point, you uh, once again tap on the model code, hit search, find any model number of an asset that you want, hit select, and then it'll bring it back, scroll down to, to go through the process, maybe now at this point manually type in any number you want, enter any serial number, and hit save. Once you hit save, hypothetically the asset is added. At this point, to get out of the screen, you hit sign, is going to bring you to a signature screen. Once you are at that signature screen, you just pick the name of the whoever is going to sign. And then once you're here, at this point, they just sign with whatever they want. Once they sign, you hit save and back. Now your transaction is completed. You can follow these transactions all throughout the application for receiving, checkout, check-in, movement, um, if you want to demo how a uh, customer can walk into a person and scan their barcode to see what equipment they have. At this point, you just click on search. Uh, pick wha whatever you want to do a search by. Let's just say you want to search by custodian. Uh, type in a custodian number. Let's just say it's this one. Hit search. It's going to give you a list of everything that person has. Uh, to get a list of custodians and all of that, we had uh, we will send you separately a, an Excel spreadsheet that will give you some uh, the preset data in there to make it easier for you to navigate. So with that, um, at this point, you can demo most of the asset tracking, most of the stock tracking, and once again, it's just a simple matter of just tapping on the screen and following a, you know following the process like I showed you. Once you're done. You just hit uh, sign, you hit exit, and you're back to normal. Have fun selling, and call us if you have any more questions or you need more videos showing you more details. Thank you.